Uh, but my body is full of aches. You know, Juan doesn't like it when I, when I talk about the, the aches and the creaks and the, the progression towards death. Um, I find it fascinating. It's happening for sure. Um, it's a. It's like watching an advancing army. Army, you know, like being in a small town where the the Mongol hordes are uh, a day away, and choosing instead to, or whatever horde you want it to be, the, the armies of Alexandria, maybe Alexander, maybe, and. Uh, you're in the way. And uh, instead of going about my business or, f or fleeing, I uh, choose to climb a small hill and watch the dust being raised by the heavy footsteps and the horses and the ox carts, the war engines approaching. That's how I feel. That's how it, it's fascinating, even though it's coming and it's going to bring destruction to my village and death and probably to me too. It's fascinating to watch. That's what it's like to chronicle this process. And sure, maybe it'll hasten and hasten my demise in some way by setting up an, a negative mental framework. But that's all right. It's not going to matter if I'm, if I, if I'm dead, you know, for, for a trillion years, minus 70 years or 60, it ain't going to make a crap of difference. It really doesn't. Although, although it, it does make a difference maybe in, in terms of the, the waves of impact that I can have through the the spreading of my, my message of going along the good life creed, that might make a difference, and it does. But this is part of that. This is part and parcel of the honest message, right? The looking at death approaching and uh, chronicling or describing its approach. 